Hi guys. Today's message. Please do not change. Everything in you is so perfect. Don't let the other snuff out your light. So this is what happens often, unfortunately, the world that we live in. There are negative experiences, people are doing things that are hurtful or mean, situations happen that don't have the best outcome that we want. And little by little, it changes us. And what do I mean by changing? I mean, a minute ago, your mood was happy, you were fine. And after that conversation, after that person treated you that way, you felt horrible and it completely changed your mood. What does that do? It changes the way that you interact with the people around you. It changes the way that you feel about yourself. And ultimately, what is actually happening behind the scenes is your heart is hurt and it wants to be protected. So it will put up walls. It will put up um, shells around itself to to protect it so that it won't go through this pain again. Now, that's sweet when you think about it in one way, but when you think about what it actually does to the relationships and to yourself, that's not what we want to be happening because these shells become walls and they just get built on and built on and built on and we get more and more desensitized and we lose that connection we lose the ability to develop and evolve a relationship and we lose the ability to listen and see Hashem's message for us. We lose the ability to see the positivity and the light. And unfortunately, it stops us from being who we are. So what we want to do is melt away those shells, but we don't want to leave ourselves um, unguarded and unprotected because we're in pain. So, what we do is we have Hashem's wisdom on our, on, in our minds that will protect our hearts. And these wisdoms start like this. First of all, know that it is a very natural human reaction that we want to feel loved and we want to feel respected and we want to feel desired and, and, and wanted. So that's the natural pull, but also know that you don't have to be a victim to this pull. You can actually train yourself to disconnect from this pull. And um, I'll give you an analogy. And the analogy is, imagine, and hopefully you can think about this more, because the more that you think and the more that you contemplate, that's you strengthening your mind so that less and less your heart will fall to the trappings of these pools. So here's the thought. Imagine yourself connected with all the people and all the situations with two umbilical cords. One umbilical cord represents the healthy connection and the other represents the unhealthy connection. And what does that mean? It represents, I need you to make me feel good about me. And when you don't make me feel good about me, I feel hurt and I react and I change. So, what we want to be doing is over time we want to be aware of this, these two connections, and we want to be cutting this second connection off. Disconnecting ourselves from this unhealthy re um, connection with the other, with the situations that end up blocking us and hardening our hearts. So, when we have um, the knowledge that, first of all, I'm not in this world to receive. I'm in this world to give. I'm in this world to be an example. Why? Because I come from up in Shemaim where I was completely, Hashem was completely unveiled. I wasn't cut off from him, there was no concealment, I felt the absolute glory, splendor, in full magnitude, and there I felt such pampering, there I felt so okay all the time. I was receiving a hell of a lot, and um, then I came down into this world. So here, in the world of concealment, this is where finally I have a chance to, to give, where before I was only receiving. 
here I can give, here I can be a co-creator, here I can make happiness, here I can make um, these amazing um, relationships and help them to develop. And here I can bring Hashem's light into the world, here I can bring Hashem's freedom by keeping my heart open and guarding it with these knowledge, these wisdoms of Hashem and um, sharing myself with the world. So. The other thing is when you feel that you're starting to react, first of all, tell yourself, I'm not going to let this change me. I'm not going to let this change me and I'm not going to let this person or this situation or the outcomes change who I am. So more and more you put this in your mind means you're building those connections in your mind to be stronger and stronger and it'll become less and less you'll be reactional less and less you'll even have those feelings coming up and it is daily it's something you need to work on every day if you want this you can experience this freedom and you can give yourself without hurting and another thing is when you're starting to feel reactional ask yourself why am I feeling this way hmm okay it's because when they did this when they treated me this way it made me feel bad about myself it made me feel they don't like me and that hurt me because I want them to like me and so when you're aware of this then you can put into place your guards and say hey I'm not gonna change I know what's going on and I want to feel Hashem in the situation and I want to express and evolve and, and bring my, let myself shine. And you will. And may Hashem bless you that you continue to allow yourself to shine. Don't allow other people to snuff out your light.